Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. In today's discussion, we're going to delve into the ways in which narcissists plot revenge. Through my experiences and observations, one pattern consistently emerges when dealing with narcissists, they never simply move on from an altercation. Particularly, if you have ever inflicted what is known as a narcissistic injury upon them, perhaps by standing up to them, offering criticism, passing judgment, or even giving them a dose of their own medicine, you can be certain that they will plot a form of revenge against you. Engaging with a covert narcissist presents its own set of challenges, as their methods of revenge are not immediately obvious. Should you find yourself apologizing to a covert narcissist, you might receive a seemingly accepting response. However, don't be fooled. They will not forget the perceived slight and will ensure you face consequences for your actions. Covert narcissists operate in the shadows, they are not direct in their interactions and prefer to erect barriers, orchestrating everything from behind the scenes. The behavior of covert narcissists is often passive-aggressive and executed out of sight. Their revenge tactics are subtle yet persistent. They might, for example, repeatedly arrive late, promise to call but then fail to do so, or offer excuses for their behavior. These actions signal that you may be dealing with a covert narcissist, characterized by their pattern of making promises they have no intention of keeping. At their core, covert narcissists are deceptive. They craft an illusion of support and trustworthiness, while their true intentions are anything but. Initially, they may come across as charming and helpful, seemingly acting in your best interest. This facade, however, is purely manipulative, designed to win your favor for their own gain, whether it be for personal validation, financial benefit, or other motives. It is crucial to understand that covert narcissists lack authenticity. They constantly wear a mask, making it impossible to truly connect with them on a deeper level. In terms of plotting revenge, covert narcissists primarily leverage manipulation of others to target you. They will attempt to tarnish your reputation among friends, family, and acquaintances, often under the guise of concern. Rather than confronting you directly, they opt for a subtler approach, suggesting to others that you may be struggling or in need of help. By sowing seeds of doubt, covert narcissists aim to isolate you, turning those you trust against you based on fabricated concerns. The primary objective of a covert narcissist is to marginalize and isolate you, as they believe that by doing so, they can diminish your influence and control. This tactic of isolation not only reduces your support network, but also amplifies their power over you. Often, the initial indication that a covert narcissist is targeting you comes indirectly, when someone they've attempted to manipulate informs you of the negative comments made behind your back. This serves as a crucial warning sign that the individual in question is maligning you in secret. It's essential to recognize that dealing with covert narcissists means you are essentially dealing with someone who indulges in spreading rumors. A widely accepted saying holds true in this context, if someone is willing to gossip to you about others, they will inevitably gossip about you as well. This is the environment in which they flourish, thriving on the debasement of others away from their gaze. Covert narcissists embody deceit and betrayal, they are serpents in the grass, masters of duplicity. While they often adopt a guise of victimhood to garner sympathy, their actions are anything but innocent. Unlike their overt counterparts, who might confront you directly, covert narcissists prefer subterfuge and indirect attacks. A covert narcissist might also plot revenge by being unfaithful. In their perspective, any conflict or challenge you pose justifies their infidelity. An instance where someone explicitly stated that cheating would be their method of retaliation was a glaring revelation of their true character. Such a declaration not only exposes them as unfaithful, but also highlights their manipulative nature. It's a stark reminder of the simplistic yet harmful mindset of a narcissist, where their immediate reaction to disagreement or dissatisfaction is to betray trust. This manner of seeking revenge, through betrayal or by orchestrating your social isolation, underscores the covert narcissist's reliance on manipulation and deceit. These strategies not only aim to harm you directly, but also to weaken your relationships and standing within your social circle, thereby consolidating their control and influence over your life. 
Another tactic a covert narcissist might employ to plot revenge is by portraying themselves as the victim, especially to children. This is particularly evident in situations where co-parenting is involved. Covert narcissists often place their children in the middle of conflicts, showing little concern for the potential emotional harm this could cause. While they may have some level of care for their children, their primary love is for themselves. To a narcissist, the responsibilities that come with raising children are seen as a burden. Parenting is undoubtedly one of the most challenging roles anyone can undertake, requiring constant effort and dedication. However, narcissists often shirk these responsibilities, leaving the bulk of parenting duties to the other parent. They find excuses for not being involved in essential activities like medical appointments, school meetings, or even attending their children's sports games. Their participation tends to be limited to enjoyable activities, such as vacations or sharing photographs on social media to craft an image of being an exemplary parent. This facade is maintained to manipulate public perception rather than out of genuine involvement in their children's lives. By portraying themselves as victims to their children, covert narcissists manipulate their offspring into sympathizing with them, thereby estranging them from the other parent. This strategy is commonly observed during divorces, where the narcissistic individual attempts to win the children's allegiance. Another method a covert narcissist might use to plot revenge, particularly within a family setting, involves turning family members against you. By manipulating others, they aim to isolate you from family gatherings, creating an environment where people are reluctant to interact with you. Through gossip and slander, they attempt to tarnish your reputation, suggesting that you have mental health issues or are problematic in some way. This form of attack is designed to undermine your mental well-being and reputation. Standing up to a covert narcissist often leads to further retaliation. They might provoke you into displaying anger or frustration, only to then label you as having anger management issues or being unstable. This tactic serves to alienate you further from your social circles and support systems. In social settings, a covert narcissist will attempt to monopolize attention and discourage you from forming your own connections, fearing that these relationships might empower you. They prefer you isolated and dependent on them alone. When involved in a marriage with a covert narcissist, they will likely attempt to distance you from your family, knowing that these relationships provide you with emotional support and strength. Through subtle or overt comments, they will try to convince you that you do not need your family, aiming to make you wholly reliant on them. This strategy is aimed at fostering codependency, ensuring that you have no support system beyond the narcissist themselves. Another tactic a covert narcissist may plot revenge is through withholding affection, acting distant, and refusing intimacy. This behavior serves two primary purposes for them. Firstly, they aim to make you feel isolated and desperate for their affection, essentially tormenting you until you are willing to do anything for a glimpse of warmth or kindness from them. Secondly, their coldness towards you might be a sign that they are directing their attention and affection elsewhere, engaging in other relationships without your knowledge. Moreover, a covert narcissist may also seek revenge by maintaining secret relationships outside of your awareness. These relationships are not limited to romantic or sexual ones. They could simply be friendships or connections the narcissist keeps hidden from you. They deliberately exclude you from gatherings with these other friends or acquaintances, maintaining a barrier between you and their other social circles. By doing so, they ensure that you remain isolated, unable to form connections with people who might offer you support outside of the relationship with the narcissist. This tactic is driven by their need for control and their fear of being left out or abandoned if you were to become close with their friends. Another significant way a covert narcissist might plot revenge is through financial ruin. Covert narcissists can act like financial predators, aiming to deplete your resources or inheritances. If you have a covert narcissist in your family, they may target the family member with the most wealth, employing flattery and sycophantic behavior to ingratiate themselves. This manipulative strategy is not confined to personal relationships, it extends to professional settings as well. The coworker who overly flatters the boss, offering gifts or doing favors, may be displaying narcissistic tendencies. Their ultimate goal is to secure their position by winning over those in power 
simultaneously undermining your standing and potentially leading to financial or professional setbacks for you. Individuals with narcissistic tendencies are particularly drawn to flattery, and this trait becomes a tool in their arsenal, especially when dealing with another narcissist. By lavishing praise and adulation, a covert narcissist, along with their accomplices often referred to as covert narcissistic flying monkeys, can manipulate a more dominant narcissist to align with their desires. This manipulation might be aimed at gaining financial benefits, professional advancement, or securing a favorable position in a familial inheritance scenario. Their strategy hinges on the understanding that narcissists crave ego boosts and will respond positively to those who provide them. In various professional and social settings, where power and financial gain are at play, covert narcissists employ flattery as a means to advance their interests. This behavior is not limited to any one field but can be observed across the spectrum, from corporate environments to politics, and from healthcare to legal professions. The ultimate goal for a covert narcissist plotting revenge might involve financial sabotage. For example, during a divorce, a covert narcissist might deplete shared bank accounts or engage in legal battles designed to drain the other party's resources. Their tactics are relentless, often requiring the targeted individual to secure competent legal representation to safeguard their interests and ensure fair handling of custody, financial settlements, and other legal matters. Another deceitful tactic involves the covert narcissist portraying themselves as financially vulnerable or victimized, all the while hiding assets. It's not uncommon for covert narcissists to conceal funds with trusted family members, out of a mistrustful attitude towards their partner and the marriage itself. This hidden stash serves as a secret reserve unbeknownst to their spouse. Furthermore, covert narcissists are characterized by their propensity to steal, driven by a sense of entitlement or a belief that they are justified in taking what they desire. This inclination towards theft can extend to personal relationships, where they might feel entitled to possessions of friends or acquaintances, believing that the loss would be inconsequential to the owner or that they somehow deserve to have the item. The rationale behind such actions is often, you could afford it, so I can take it. Another tactic employed by covert narcissists to plot their revenge involves inciting what is known as reactive abuse. They aim to maintain dominance by pushing you to a point where you become highly emotional. Understanding narcissism is crucial here. Without this knowledge, you may find yourself directly confronting a covert narcissist, passionately defending your stance. Meanwhile, they derive pleasure from witnessing your emotional turmoil, often evidenced by a mocking smirk it's imperative to resist engaging with them. Remember, you're dealing with a person whose behavior is harmful. Their opinions and actions should hold no value to you. They are fundamentally flawed and seek only to manipulate your emotions. The most effective response is to maintain your composure and disengage. Treating them as if they are inconsequential is the ultimate rebuke. Ignoring a covert narcissist and refraining from feeding into their need for attention requires reprogramming your thought process to recognize that their comments are irrelevant. They are toxic individuals whose opinions should not matter to you. They aim to control and upset you, but recognizing their tactics allows you to remain unaffected. If they attempt to provoke you with lies or by denying their actions, remember that engaging with them only serves their purposes. Instead, choose to remove yourself from the situation, affirming that they are unworthy of your time and energy. It's vital to grasp that engaging with a narcissist, especially a covert one, is futile. You owe them no explanations. Once you identify their toxicity, their perspectives become insignificant. If they attempt to tarnish your reputation among others, those who are swayed by the narcissist's manipulations were never truly supportive of you to begin with. It's crucial not to be troubled by their opinions. True allies will see through the narcissist's deceit and will not be influenced by their attempts to disparage you. Should others choose to believe the covert narcissist, it reveals their true stance or underlying issues with you, indicating that they, too, are not worth your concern. It's essential to dissociate from such individuals. Facing opposition from another covert narcissist, who may be envious and aligns against you, reinforces the need to withhold information from them and avoid seeking their approval. Maintaining your integrity and self-assurance is paramount. 
There's no necessity to justify yourself to the narcissist or those they have influenced against you. Stay true to your identity and your honesty. If individuals choose to side with the narcissist or distance themselves from you based on falsehoods, consider it a blessing in disguise. Their departure from your life reveals their true nature, sparing you from further negativity. When you find yourself in a difficult situation, having nothing to offer, a narcissist's true nature becomes glaringly apparent. They will leave you behind without hesitation. This has been my personal experience. They step away because you no longer serve their interests, a typical behavior of narcissists. They won't support you in tough times, offering excuses or disappearing altogether. The moment they act this way is a clear indication that they are not worthy of your trust or companionship. It's a warning sign that you should distance yourself from them, recognizing that they are not genuine or supportive. I learned this lesson during a low point in my life, and now, in better times, I refuse to associate with such individuals because they showed they weren't there for me when I needed them. It's important to understand that this is how narcissists, especially covert ones, operate and plot revenge. Another critical aspect to be aware of is their penchant for playing mind games. They may claim everything is fine when, in reality, it's far from it. Covert narcissists excel at psychological manipulation, pretending all is well while harboring resentment. They might seem friendly at social gatherings, but behind the scenes, they hold grudges and seek revenge by excluding and isolating you. Attempting to resolve issues with a covert narcissist can be futile. Even if you apologize, they are likely to dismiss it. Trying to justify or explain yourself to them is a mistake, it only diminishes your authority. They respond with sarcasm, displaying a dismissive and mocking attitude. This behavior is a telltale sign of a covert narcissist. They agree superficially but plan to undermine you later, either by breaking promises, engaging in passive-aggressive behavior, or making sarcastic comments on social media aimed at you. Such actions, whether they are canceling plans last minute, leaving a mess for you to clean, or posting veiled insults online, are all strategies a covert narcissist uses to plot revenge. Covert narcissists are experts in indirect communication, preferring to frustrate and upset others through passive-aggressive actions rather than confront them directly. This behavior is a deliberate tactic because they fear direct confrontation might expose their weaknesses. Instead, they choose to annoy or provoke through actions like ignoring calls, offering insincere praise, or pretending everything is fine when it clearly isn't. Their coldness, lack of affection, use of sarcasm, and subtle insults, often accompanied by a smirky smile, are all telltale signs. These behaviors are red flags indicating you're dealing with a covert narcissist who aims to get under your skin in a roundabout way. The best course of action is to avoid engaging with them entirely. Showing that their tactics have affected you only gives them what they want. Remember, anyone who resorts to game playing is not worth your time or energy. You're essentially dealing with someone who possesses the communication skills and emotional maturity of a child, incapable of genuine interaction or conflict resolution. They are fundamentally dishonest people, and engaging with them is futile. Maintaining distance is crucial to avoid being drawn into their mind games. When their words don't match their actions, it's a clear indication of their true nature. Covert narcissists often say what you want to hear, only to do the complete opposite. It's their actions and patterns of behavior that reveal their true character, not their words. This is a vital lesson in identifying and dealing with covert narcissists. A significant concern with covert narcissists, especially in the context of marriage, divorce, or familial relationships, is their manipulation for financial gain. Money, status, and the appearance of importance are their primary motivations. Their greed often leads them to deceive and exploit others for financial benefit. Additionally, they manipulate emotions and relationships for sexual gain, proclaiming love without sincerity to get what they want, only to become distant afterward. It's crucial to understand that people's actions and consistent behavior over time should earn your trust and respect, not just their words. I hope this discussion helps illuminate the tactics of covert narcissists and how to protect yourself from their manipulative behaviors. 
please take care of yourself and remember, you deserve authentic and respectful relationships. If you found this information valuable, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more insights and advice. Stay informed and empowered. Take care, everyone.